ma lo la va le soi fu ma langi ma ya mumu la va le vi inga ma le angan fa fai le alo fa le tu ona le nei aso ma le nei ava noa. Hello for everyone. We are here in uh, Onepoto and Porirua. Today we're looking at uh, launching uh, the va'a that we've been working on for the last five years. We started building this project, this va'a, back in 2017. And it's come about from a promise that I had made to Grandma, our late Grandma, uh, back in 2003 to help her fundraise for the Tokelau Bible Translation. And in some ways that epitomizes the character of our forefathers, our grandfathers and our grandparents who raised us in terms of determination, in terms of persistence. My father was a big part of this project and sadly we said goodbye to him a little over three months ago. And of course the late Reverend Perimaleasi, when we built the canoe shed back in 2017, he came and he blessed the project to begin. It's been five years in the making, but I made the promise to Grandma back in 2003. That's nearly 20 years ago. This effort is not only about helping to, uh, with the Bible translation work, but it's also about celebrating who we are as Polynesia and who we are as a Pacific people. I can't see any issues happening with the wind at the moment. The wind is pretty, pretty good. It's going to be like this for the whole, you know, the whole morning. And in fact, it should drop a little bit. Uh, but with the subway, as we all know, you know, as all of the locals know, um, you know, it can come up a little bit and then drop. Um, but uh, I, I don't think it's going to get to any levels that we had um, yesterday with the white caps on the harbour. So my involvement is, um, well I'm just here for safety, so just here to make sure that, uh, uh, that the day goes as smoothly as we can make it. Yeah, it's good to see everybody supporting John and uh, his mahi he's been doing over the past few years. It's amazing. <laughs> okay, so uh, our one boat's going to be tasked with carrying the camera crew. I think you guys know that already. That's going to be your waka, is that right? Two. Okay. Yeah, our goal, uh, the boat's is to stay out of the way. Alright, and let's... Um, no, let John have his moment. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's like our uh, moment. Yep, yeah. 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 The spotlight's on him. All right. So let's just stand back on. and keep <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just watch the language, yeah. eh? <laughs> Today has been supported uh, by our community, uh, Tokelau and Samoan, Maori, uh, Pacificas here, and this is what it's about. It's about our children also. They get to see our va'a up close and personal as coming alive for them instead of just reading it in the books. At the moment I'm very happy and really excited mostly for our people, mostly for our community. Wonderful. Ready? Three, two, one. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. We are going to make a start now. And for today's blessing, I want to introduce to you uh, Reverend Elder Tui Sopuanga. He will be part of the blessing. And also Mrs. Jack Thatcher and also Hotoro Ku. Well, when uh, John asked us to come down and be a part of the launch, I sort of figured he would want us to be involved in uh, the protocols. The karakia that, uh, that I performed today were what I was taught from when we have launched Waha in the past. The first karakia that, uh, that I did was called the Kawa Mutsuho, which is a karakia whakatapu. So you, you create this tapu around, uh, around what you're doing, uh, around the purpose and around the vessel that you're going to bless. The karakia whakatapu uh, can be used in a number of different areas, but it normally starts off your protocol around uh, whatever it is you're blessing. The second karakia was a kawa, again carrying on that on that tradition of uh, protocol of opening up that space so that we can enter into the spiritual world to ask for assistance for whatever purpose that we uh, require 
that uh, that assistance for. So when you use it in, in, in this case, it helps to allay any fears of distress happening to, I suppose, the vessel that you're, you're, you're doing the blessing for. The third karakia was the, uh, the ruku, and what that is is the actual blessing of each part of the waka that you, uh, you, you want to bless. So, so I bless the kei, which is the stern, then the ihu, which is the bell, and in that way you get the whole length of the waka and you, and you bless those parts that, uh, that help the waka to swiftly go to where it needs to go. Then you bless, uh, what I did was I blessed the hull, uh, and the rauawa, which, is, uh, which are the gunnels, and uh, those, those are important, obviously the hull is what keeps you afloat, and the gunnels generally tend to, uh, to be that part that connects the waka to the person. Once I came in, I had two jobs to do. One of them was to do a final blessing, which took the waka in that final transformation process from being a tree in the forest to being an actual canoe reaffirming the fact that um, now this, this uh, tree that once stood in a forest has now been transformed into a new entity. Then the second karakia that I did was to announce to everybody the tree that's now a waka is a place for um, learning, a place for knowledge, um, a place for protecting culture. But in order for that to be done, we all need to know what the name of this waka is. At the end of that karakia, I asked, what's the name of this canoe? Matali! <laughs> I asked, who does this canoe belong to? And uh, the response was, it belongs to us. And then the third question I asked was, who is it for? And the response is for, for everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made, that we should rejoice and be glad in it. Yesterday, this canoe was blessed at our church by Ina Tokelau. And now we now officially launch and bless as the Kaumatua has done. So I acknowledge the Kaumatua, the people of this land. Tena koto, tena koto, tena koto. The name Matali'i, how that name came to be in 2017. When we nailed that first board down, the constellation that was rising at the time was Matariki. And that's in 2017 when we nailed that very first board. In 2018, I had a dream. I dreamed I saw the cluster of Matariki. It was so bright. I could see it like it's right there and it was so bright. So I inlaid Matariki onto the canoe and I knew that was to celebrate our community coming together. So that was in the commemoration of our community who came together, who nailed the first board down and so hence the name of the va'a, Matali. I always think to myself, uh, when a waka is bobbing, that's a waka impatient to get out on the water. And so uh, when they took off and picked up speed, I was thinking to myself, yep, they're going to have some great fun on this waka. When um, John got it dialed in, man, she, she took off. She was just, yeah, she was just amazing to watch on the water. Just seeing everybody here, uh, you, you know, of all the, um, the different cultures, uh, it's awesome um, how John has managed, you know, through his mahi, you know, his uh, toiling in, in his garage, 
you know, uh, without him even knowing, just managing to bring everyone here uh, and uh, and uh, the start of something new. Yeah, I think uh, for our uh, Samoan community, this is pretty awesome. Uh, you know, in terms of you don't see many uh, sailing vatas in our harbours, so it's really awesome to, to see uh, a Samoan uh, design in particular. And I think in general, all our communities will uh, benefit from it, uh, whether it's Samoan, Nguyen or, uh, or others. Um, I think it, uh, yeah, this represents our, our Pacific, who, uh, who we are as voyagers. I'm really proud of Dad, um, just seeing the boat go out today for the first time on the water. Um, it was really emotional, um, knowing how much work, how much dedication, how much effort and heart that my dad put into this project. Not only for himself, for our great grandma, for our granddad who's passed away and for our community. There's actually not enough words to describe um, how I feel right now but just knowing that I feel like a really overwhelming sense of pride um, for my dad. I think it, it's going to be a really good opportunity for young people to reconnect with their roots, with, um, with va'a and tautai, the navigating. Uh, learning about rigging is going to be something that's new for all of us at the moment, but for Puriroa I think our young people will learn their culture through and through the water. The other important thing, it, it's a live opportunity where our young people can see what can be done. So it's not just about talking about when I was in Samoa, when I was in Tokelau, when I was in Cook Islands or Tonga, whatever, where they actually see it, because this has been a project years in the making. I think the significance is, it's not just now, it's uh, intergenerational. What a pleasure it's been for me uh, to be here today. Um, the hand of God in what has happened is so obvious. And what is so nice about what John has done is that he has picked up on that dream and done something about it. Whereas Fowa, we just talked about it and we planned doing something about it, but never did because he, the Lord chose to take him. And I'm so, so proud of, of John uh, having done it. And I am, just feel so privileged and honored that, I've, that I'm here, that I've been here today to experience uh, the launch. What a great day it's been. So proud of yourself. You need some practice, but can you sail? Wow. Thank you for being here. Oh. I wouldn't have missed the